Hey, this is Philip Ador, founder of NTLEX RN 45 Day Challenge. In this video, I'm going to be talking about testicular cancer. If you are a man, you have a pair of egg-shaped glands called testicles enclosed in your scrotum, which is a pouch that hangs behind your penis. Your testicles produce sperm cells and make the hormones testosterone. Inside each testicle are coiled tubes called seminiferous tubules where your body creates immature sperm cells, also known as germ cells or sper spermatogonia. Through a series of stages called spermatogenesis, spermatogonia develop into mature sperm. Testicular cancer is a disease of, of abnormal cell growth in one or both of your testicles. It is usually begins in your germ cells where genetic damage or changes called mutations causes the cells to grow uncontrollably. The cancerous germ cells clump together to form the tumor, which continues to grow. In most cases, these mutations occur in the germ cells and are called germ cell tumors. Doctors classify germ cell tumors as non-seminoma or seminoma or based on the appearance of the cells under a microscope. Non-seminoma test tumors are usually more aggressive, they grow and spread quickly while seminomas tumors tend to progress at a, slower, at a slower rate. Symptoms of testicular cancers may include a painless mass on your testicles or testicular pain or swelling. If you have a testicular cancer, your doctor may recommend a surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination of treatments based on the type of stages of your tumor. The treatment will begin with the removal of the cancerous testicles to a radical inguinal archaeectomy. For, this, for these procedures, your surgeon will make an incision in your lower abdomen. Then, your surgeon will remove the testicles from your scrotum. The surgeon will close the incisions with the sutures or surgical staples. Next, your pathologist will analyze the testicles to determine which type of cancers that you have and to plan further treatment. If you have an enlarged abdominal lymph nodes, or if a sample of your blood indicates the presence of a cancer following the archaeectomy surgery, your doctor may recommend chemotherapy. Chemotherapy uses a drug to stop the cancers from progressively killing the cancer cells that may have spread throughout the lymph nodes to other parts of your body. If your tumor contains the more aggressive non-seminoma cells, your surgeon may perform a, a retroperitoneal lymph node dissections after you receive a chemotherapy. During this procedure, the surgeon will insert a laparoscopic tools through a small incisions to your abdomen. Then your surgeon will remove your abdominal lymph nodes, including any cancer cells that may have spread to them. If you have a seminoma tumor, your doctor may recommend radiation therapy or radiotherapy which uses a high energy x-rays to kill cancer cells only in the treatment area. During this procedure, your doctor will direct external beam radiation therapy at your retroperitoneal abdominal lymph nodes. The radiation beam will kill any cancer cells that may have spread there. 